Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be talking about how somebody can feel down because they failed their first interview, but then a few days later, they're getting the back. Okay. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because this is something that's happening right now in the Coding Face ASAP developers group. And it happened to my boy Anderson Martinez, right? So Anderson Martinez, he's a member of CodingFace.com. He's also a member of the Coding Face meetup group. Even though we did cancel the meetup group, he he's still a member of CodingFace.com. He's still grinding to polish up his skills, right? And he just got his first interview a few days ago. I mean, today is January 26th. Okay. He went into his first job interview around January 22nd. And this is what he said. He shared it in the coding phase ASAP developers group. He's like, yo, I just got rejected for my first job interview. These jobs really don't want to hire you unless you have 50 years of experience. Oh, well, <laughs> right. Uh, with this message, you could tell that he's a little bit jaded. He's like, damn, man, this sucks, man. I'm, I'm really working hard. Right. But, it feels like people want you to know more than uh, what you're supposed to, or they want you to have so much experience for you to get the job, right? And you start feeling down on yourself. You start feeling like, man, is this the right thing for me? Should I be doing this, etc.? And I'll be honest with you guys. Everybody goes through this, right? When you first go to that first job interview, you got to expect not to get the job. That's just how it is. 98% of the people don't get hired on the first job interview. Okay. Number one, because you're nervous. Number two, because you probably are, it's not ready. You just not ready. You haven't polished up all of the things that you need to polish up when it comes to your skills. Okay. But you use that as a learning experience. You go in there, you go to the job interview. Even if you fail, you know that on your second, your third, your fourth job interview, you are going to get hired, right? Because you're going to build up on all of those things that maybe you failed because you was nervous. Maybe you didn't have the right projects. Maybe they're asking for a certain skill that you just don't have right now. And then now, because they did ask for that, now you could actually implement it to your routine of things that you got to learn. Right? So at the end of the day, it's a win-win situation. Like you either get a job or you get to learn the things that you need to get a job. Right? But, your boy was feeling, you know, a little bit down. He's like, man, I just got rejected for my first job interview. These jobs really don't want you to hire you unless you got 50 years of experience. Oh, well, da, 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 you know, and everybody's just giving him good comments, being supportive. And that's what I love about the ASAP developers group. Okay. It's a whole bunch of people that's out here trying to grind a whole bunch of people that's either trying to get a job, trying to make some income for themselves. Right. And everybody here is supportive, right? You have some questions, you're stuck somewhere. Most likely somebody's going to answer you in less than 20 minutes. Okay. And that's just how it is. Um, but yeah, man, I'm so glad that, you know, he hasn't given up. He hasn't, uh, you know, failed or he hasn't done anything like in the sense of like, man, you know, I want to give up and just quit this whole thing, right? Cause some people, they do that. I've seen it happen to a couple of people in here where, you know, they fail one or two times and then they're like, oh man, I'm never going to do this. I'm never going to get hired. And then just like I said in my last video, you basically, you quit before you get to win. All right. So shout out to Anderson Martinez for not quitting before he won. So this was January 22nd. Okay. Then we scroll up. This is for today. Right. And today he's like, well, last night he's like, yep. Just got my first paid gig. Yep. First official freelance paid website dudes. Don't give up. Whoa. <laughs> or woo. I don't know. <laughs> you know, reading, reading is a little bit different, <laughs> but okay. Um, as you guys can see, man, you know, things switched up, right? Yeah. He just failed the interview or maybe he didn't fail the interview. Then maybe he just didn't have what they needed at the moment. Okay. But look how life is, right? Now he's still going to get it back. He's still going to be able to put into practice the skills that he's been learning, right? Got a new gig that he he's going to be able to build uh, a website, a web application for somebody. And at the end of the day, that's where his experience is going to come from.
Now, when he goes to those job interviews, now he got that experience. Okay. Now I'm bringing this up. So you guys that maybe are in the same situation, maybe are even thinking about joining codingphase.com. I want you guys to understand. I mean, this is what we do here, right? We're teaching you guys to learn how to code, teaching you guys the things for you to get a job. But then not only that, we want to make sure that even with the skills that you have, you still could get a bag. Okay. Cause not everybody's going to get hired on the first try, right? So at least you can come in and start getting some bread with the skills that you already have while you're still getting the experience to get a job or, you know, whatever extra skills that you might need to get that, that dream job that you want. Okay. So I'm just showing you guys this video, man, because it's very important for you guys to know that, man, sometimes you're going to lose and then you're going to win. Sometimes you're going to win and then you're going to lose. That's just how life is. I don't want you guys to give up. I want you guys to always think that at the end of the tunnel, there's always a light. That's just how it is. That's how life is. And always remember that. All right. Now I'm going to leave you guys with this message of just positive energy. If you want to learn how to code, go to codingphase.com. Right. Go and try it out. It's a dollar. <laughs> it's a dollar to get started. Okay. You can't go wrong. As you can see, we have a great community. We have people that's actually grinding, people that's actually getting jobs, people that's actually getting paid with the skills that they are learning, right? It's ups and downs, just like anything in life. But at the end of the day, it's what you make out of it, all right? So it is what it is, guys. I'm going to see you guys later. Take care. It's your boy Joe back out of the end, codingphase.com. Shout out to Anderson Martinez for not giving up. Shout out to him for coming here for the meetup groups. Shout out to him for being a member of ASAP Developers Group. I'm proud of you. Keep doing your thing, okay? Don't worry. Your job is coming around the corner. Just give it some time. Don't get thirsty. Understand that this is how it is. You got to build up experience. You got to polish up your skills. And then also to be more comfortable in the job interviews. So when you go in there, you can be yourself without having to be like, oh my God, what they're going to ask me and this isn't that. And then you fail the interview. Okay. So just know that at the end of the tunnel, there's always a light. All right, guys, it is what it is. I'm going to see you guys later. Peace.